Welcome back. We're going to start off right where we left off in episode two and see if we can survive this one. It's quite rough because we don't have any gear or we're missing a lot of the wood. Okay, so here's the leaf bed I was trying to build earlier. It's actually a lot cheaper on wood, so we might try to craft a few of those. They are not as good. As you can see, like there should be some comfort level. Oh, there it is. Two. Let's build one. Let's see. It doesn't seem to be any comfort at all on it. So we'll build two of those. So they have somewhere to sleep at least. I'm just making some floating dirt up in the air here so trees can grow. Now we might have some extra wood so we can make some spike defenses. We'll put one over here, one over here, one over here. This dwarf took a lot of damage, so I can tell him to go rest now. Be ready for the knight's uh, attacks. And I hope I'm not blocking any trees from growing under here. Uh, since they can grow pretty tall, but we'll see. This is just a temporary thing. So I'll let them go out and gather everything that we need. And now we have a bow. Let's see if our archer can equip that. Here we are. And that unlocks another club. But they all have clubs, okay. Yeah, and we don't have to Equip the arrows. I, I, exactly, they're equipped. There are different types of arrows that you can select. Let's see if we can make another sort of trap here by doing this. Yeah, we can. Wooden traps. The four of those. We'll place them here, here, and here, here. So enemies walking over these will take damage. Let's see here now. And there, we leveled up again. Quite unlucky on the reward items there, but that's fine. And we got a swimmer. We get a club. And maybe we should try to go a bit deeper here into the underground. Just get another set of ladders going. Now we have some idle dwarfs here, which is not good. So we maybe we should send them out on an expedition. There are dangers everywhere in the night here. We've got a large raiding army coming in. Let's see, let's gather everybody together, wait for them, and there we go. Our archer is shooting, well this is quite dangerous, but we're doing fine, and we get a lot of XP for killing these guys. Also some gold coins, which is perfect. We lost all our defenses on this side. And let's see if we have any hurt dwarfs. He's sleeping and should go rest as well. We'll go rest. Okay, he has an issue with resting currently. So 
So we're quite deep here and here we have some coal, so let's build a, a tunnel here in both directions. See if we can afford some more ladders. Only one. A slime torch. Another wooden trap we can put out here. Wall lamp gives comfort to the surrounding area, but we need oil and glass for that. So we still need that forge. Now we're getting some coal at least, and our archer is taking care of the ceiling slime slugs here. So let's put some torches down here. And there's a lot of materials in the walls here. That's perfect. Another smithing book. And a steel pickaxe. This dwarf has an issue going where he wants to go. We'll see. Maybe he'll do something else. Oh. A cooking campfire. But we need the pot still. This area seems to be spawning ants, so let's not cut these walls up and leave them. They're quite dangerous. We don't want to fall into an ant's nest. So let's see, if we remove this workbench we can actually put another hatch. Put the hatch down here in case any monsters start to rush us from behind or below. Here is one of the ants' nests, and they spawn tons of these ants. And they can be quite good to kill because they drop shit in, but we can use to craft armors and other useful things. And now the monster wave will start. Okay, so a portal has opened right here. And they will just keep spawning. And I can say with a lot of certainty that we're pretty dead. <laughs> wow. These beholders are dangerous. Run home. So we can fight them up here. They hit like, like trucks. Okay, everybody home. Oh my god. Yeah, we lost two dwarfs there. Let's close this hatch. Uh, let's see if we can barricade this wall a bit. Oh. Doesn't really help much. Can we shoot them? With the bow. Can you try to shoot, please? We'll see. Maybe they will go away before they can break in here. Put up another wooden wall here. One here. 
And we get another invasion from this side. They are retreating a bit here, so we'll see if our she strategy actually made it. There we go. So let's remove these walls. Oh, the beholders are still here. Oh, they died. Good. Wow. That was hectic. Let's kill some snails. There's another one of these ghasts. If you can help. There we go. Okay, so we got a, new, a few new dwarves. Yanni here is a cook. Oh, and we have a miner. And we also got a rusty helmet from one of the... So our warrior can switch his helmet out. And our logger can get another helmet here. But our miner will need a pickaxe. So let's craft a few of those and an axe. Let's see here. Got another kitchen stove here. What is this? A helmet up here. Ah, oh, right. I forgot to open the hatch. There we go. Now we have seven dwarves. So we're gonna need some more beds, and we also have to put the crafting table out again. So let's see, yeah, crafting table can go out here now. We got some gold now, so let's see if we can go to the shop and uh, find the skill books. Here they are, and we're gonna need gonna need another warrior. We have six. Okay, so I want a mage, another archer, and a warrior. There we go. The books land over here, so someone has to go get them. Oh, and another goblin raid. This is not ideal. Let's see, do we have any traps? Do we have time to put them out? Probably not. No, we don't. Let's just close the hatch. Oh, one dwarf got out there. And we've got a few of them inside here now, so let's see. We can actually kill a few of them. There we go, we killed a few of them. And the others are retreating. Perfect. So that got us some, some leather. And uh, maybe, yeah, we got two weapons here with 17 damage. That is excellent. We also got some food. Okay, so let's check the weapons first of all. Warrior can use the rusty mace. Our miner can use the sword. Perfect. 
Perfect. Now we put some traps up here and a few more down here. I want to build some more spike defenses. And here we're bringing in some of the books home. Gonna craft another bow. There we go. And nighttime is already here again. See if we can get even more defenses up. Two traps here. Let's see if we can span the area here. With some more dirt. And some more dwarves are hurt, so I'm going to send them to sleep. There is full HP. A great zombies here. See how long we can keep him off. The new sword is excellent and an archer behind that. And he's dead. And we got some attackers from the right here. They walk into the traps. And the dwarves are not fighting together. At least the archer knows how to keep the distance. There we go. So getting these kills are really good. Since we get the XP. Someone is missing a bed apparently, so let's build another one. And now they're asking for a table with food on it, so we're gonna have to fix that as well. Because they won't regen HP as fast if they're if they're hungry. Bed, so no, don't remove, select the dwarf and go rest. Let's see if we can craft a table, yeah. And we'll put the table somewhere around there. the table is up so let's see what kind of food we have we have some apples and we'll make some mixed green salad there we go now let's just put it on the table here yeah now they can go take a serving Need to craft more traps, some wooden defenses. Uh, 
And there we're starting to look like a stable little dwarf colony here now. Still got some issues with monsters spawning here, but they drop nails, so it's pretty useful to have them around as well. Our tree farm in the air here is looking pretty cool. So let's get some ladders. Make sure they can access them correctly. And that's where we'll end the episode. And uh, see you next time. Thank you for watching.